really could show us how much power and sway former President Trump still has over political, or I should say Republican voters. In a surprising move, he endorsed J.D. Vance. Vance once described himself as a never-Trumper, though he now says he regrets criticizing Mr. Trump back in 2016. At a rally just yesterday, the former president appeared to forget Vance's name and mixed it up with his opponent's name, Josh Mandel. We've endorsed Dr. Oz. We've endorsed JP, right? J.D. Mandel, and he's doing great. They're all doing good. They're all doing good. Before Mr. Trump's endorsement, J.D. Vance trailed in the polls and was running out of cash. CBC senior congressional correspondent Elon Moy is live on the campaign trail in Mason, Ohio. Hi, Elon. Oh, what a turnaround, Chef. It was standing room only here in Mason, Ohio for J.D. Vance. You can still see the sign is up. There are a couple of balloons still floating around on the ceiling. This was his last campaign stop before voters cast their ballots tomorrow in what has been a raucous Republican race for Ohio's open Senate seat. Now, Vance catapulted to the top of the polls after Trump endorsed him, and he spent the past couple of days crisscrossing the state trying to explain to voters why he supports Trump now, even though he didn't back in 2016, and making sure they know that Trump supports him too. The good thing is that it shows you've got a lot of momentum, and so the worst kind of people come after you. The bad thing is, you know, I, I can't turn on the TV without seeing my fat head say something I wish I hadn't said six years ago. And he's got a lot of people coming after him. His biggest rival is Josh Mandel, currently Ohio State Treasurer, who's got his own base of conservative support. There's also investment banker Mike Gibbons, anti-Trump Republican Matt Dolan, whose family owns the Cleveland Guardians, as well as Jane Timken, who used to run the state GOP, but is now at the back of the pack. At times, this has been a brutal race. Two of the candidates, Mandel and Gibbons, nearly punched each other during one debate, and they've all been slinging mud during negative ads that have been blanketing the airwaves in recent weeks. Now, on the Democratic side, there hasn't been much of a contest. Ohio Representative Tim Ryan is expected to clinch his party's nomination, and he told me he's not worried about GOP infighting. People want jobs, wages, pensions. They want growth. Uh, and they want to build stuff. I'm representing the exhausted majority of people who just want to move forward. And I think that economic argument, a, a pro-American business, pro-American worker economic argument versus a culture war, we're going to win that all day long. So, Shep, tomorrow's primary could set the tone for campaigns on both sides of the aisle all the way through November. Elon Moy, thanks very much.